So, a lot of stuff happening right now, guys. We got three new Radeon graphics cards that just popped up in the European product registry. We got the flagship, the RX 5950 XT, which joins up alongside the RX 5950. We got the RX 5900. And lastly, we got the RX 5800 XT. So, this means we might not have to wait much longer for AMD's true competitor to NVIDIA's RTX 2080 cards. And in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about AMD's high end Navi, which apparently turns out to be about 17% faster than the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. But hey, if this is your first visit on the channel, my name is Robin. Welcome to Arbian Hardware. I hope you're doing fantastic. So, 2020, a new year definitely means many new launches, and hopefully, for AMD, that means brand new graphics cards in the Navi generation. And with the company's unveil of the mid range model, uh, Radeon RX uh, 5600 XT during CS in 2020, which by the way will be available for purchase in a few days time. It seems like they are quite eager to take on Nvidia. Everything just works. Global elimination just works, ambient occlusion just works. Not just in the entry and mid-range segment, but also in high-end, which is huge because AMD hasn't really been competing with Nvidia here since like Radeon 7970 era, which was back in 2012, if you don't count Radeon 7, which uh, truth be told wasn't much of a comeback. Anyway, more launches are awaiting and according to information coming from no other than Kumachi and Saka, which is a Twitter profile that is known of having lots of interesting leaks. He recently posted some very interesting details of so the data comes from a registration with the European Economic Union where the Radeon RX 5950 XT, we got the Radeon 5950, the Radeon 5900 and the RX 5800 XT graphics cards uh, are spotted. This is however and unfortunately the only details that we got right now and it's still not clear whether these new models are built on the Navi 10 that underlies the RX 5900 series or whether one or more of these models will introduce a new graphics chip. The latter suggestion is uh, a bit more likely. Leaks around the big Navi graphics chip have been figurating for quite a while now and many you know, news outlets are speculating that this could be the uh, spooky Navi 21 GPU that we've seen leaks about. Now, if you're sitting there right now and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm about to fill you in in just a few seconds. Anyway, during CS, 2020, AMD CEO Lisa Su confirmed that high performance Navi graphics cards are on the way with the so called big Navi ship. And yeah, we are about to dive deeper into this in just a second. So, the Radeon RX 5950 XT and the 5950 could potentially house the big Navi performance data for an undefined Radeon graphics card from the OpenVR test suite recently appeared on the web as well. The performance numbers here are pretty staggering where the undefined Radeon GPU surpasses uh, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 2080 Ti by about 17%. So right now AMD is sitting on a graphics card that is faster than the fastest graphics card right now. And to me this is very exciting. It should be said that the validity of the results is uncertain, but it may indicate that AMD's new models have reached the test phase and not being, you know, that far away. This obviously begs the question when can we possibly get our hands on these new graphics cards? Now the registration with the EA EU does not reveal when the new Radeon graphics cards could reach the market but when Nvidia GeForce GTX uh, 1650 registration appeared in the EA EU database in March in 2019 it took about 30 days or a month from the date it appeared to when it was out on the market. Now, obviously there is no guarantee that this will happen this time and it remains to be seen if the similar time frame will apply to any of AMD's upcoming Radeon models. Now, Tech Power Up is reporting that these registrations have been a reliable early sign of upcoming PC hardware. So that's another good sign that these leaks are in fact real. Now, Tech Power Up is also predicting that the RX 5800 XT could be a direct competitor to the GeForce RTX 2080 Super. Furthermore, Tech Power Up also reports that the RX 5900 series could be competing with the RTX 2080 the 80 or even the RTX 2080 Super and the RX 5950 series could target premium 4K gaming and take on the RTX 2080 Ti 
as its main competitor. But what about the undefined Radeon that was about 17% faster than the RTX 2080 Ti then? Well, if we take a look at the screen dump once more, the undefined Radeon card from the OpenVR test suit, again 17% faster. Maybe this could just be two Radeons running in crossfire. Now, while this isn't uh, impossible, it is still not very likely. The fact that nobody is talking about dual graphics cards anymore. We haven't seen many news coming up from neither Nvidia or AMD regarding, you know, Crossfire or SLE, right? Seems like dual graphics cards is uh, kind of like a thing from the past. So let's just say we assume that this is a single graphics card. This could be AMD's top performer based on their biggest Navi 21 chip. And they could possibly name this the 5970 XT or possibly the 59. 90xt depending on what namings they decide to go with what do you think about this let me know your thoughts in the comments below so i've been talking about navi 20 and navi 21 but what are they really so let's talk about big navi how big is it really and how powerful could it be now we have been talking about this in a previous video and you find that video down in the video description this is basically a summary of what we know so far in case you are a bit out of the loop so at first we thought amd was going to show show off Big Navi at their keynote at CES, but this didn't quite happen. Long story short, AMD decided to unveil the Radeon RX 5600 XT graphics card, which places itself in the mid-range segment, right in between the RX 5700 and the RX 5500. They did talk about 1080p and 1440p gaming, but nothing about gaming at 4K, and so not a single word on high-performing Navi, which was was very very disappointing to me here comes the positive news guys gordon ung i hope i pronounced that right at pc world among uh, many other journalists had the opportunity to sit down with the ceo at amd you know lisa Su, where they asked a bunch of questions when Gordon asked the following question. Do you think AMD has to have a high-end competitor in the discrete graphics market? Whereas Lisa Su laughed and answered, I know those on Reddit want a high-end Navi. You should expect that we will have a high-end Navi and that it is important to have it. The discrete graphics market, especially at the high-end, is very important to us. So you should expect that we will have a high-end Navi, although I I don't usually comment on unannounced products and so this definitely confirms the fact that a high-end performing Navi graphics card is possibly several graphics cards obviously are in the making. Previous reports indicate that the possible RX 5900 XT or whatever AMD decides to name it will be based on the new and larger uh, Navi ship called Navi 20 or possibly the Navi 21 which will be manufactured on T SMC's redefined process 7 nanometer plus. So this high performing Navi is going to be based on a totally new ship this time and so it's not going to be Navi 10. The rumors are suggesting a Navi 20 or again the possible Navi 21. So what can we expect from this ship? How powerful will it be and can it actually compete with NVIDIA's top performing graphics card? Let's look at what we know so far. So about a week ago a high end Navi GPU called Navi 21 were spotted on a Taiwanese forum which then was picked up by someone on reddit and if these rumors turn out to be real guys this GPU could actually be the graphic chip that Lisa Su is referring to. Now, we gotta need a disclaimer here now, as this information hasn't been confirmed by AMD you have to treat this with a scoop of salt but according to this leaker on reddit Navi 21 features a 505 square millimeter die size and GDDR6 memory now, in comparison Navi 10 has a die size of 251 square millimeter and so this new ship is twice as big. Navi 10 if you don't know were used in the Radeon RX 5700 XT. WCCF Tech is reporting that this is even bigger than AMD's Vega 20 GPU which had a die size of 331 square millimeters so it could mean that we're looking at the powerhouse of a ship which should definitely be faster than anything the AMD has released yet. Now the AMD Vega 20 featured 13.2 billion transistors so the Navi 21 GPU could could exceed 15 to even 60 million transistors which would make this ship 
far more dancier than anything else on the market right now. now the details to the leak were posted at a Taiwanese forum which listed down several key specifications of the upcoming high-end Navi GPU. Now we know that AMD's current Radeon RX lineup is based on the 7 nanometer process node and it's part of the first generation RDNA family. The second generation is expected to take use of the advanced 7 nanometer plus process node should give us an overall performance efficiency and god not forbid hardware accelerated ray tracing which is also a huge part of second generation or dna if we take a look at this chart here this is coming from one of the amd's presentations showing the advantage in terms of power the navi field gpus have to the older polaris and gcn architecture aka the rx 570 the 580 and the 590 card etc and as we can see there is quite a significant increase in power and performance with the new navi gpus from amd speaking of performance what can we expect of navi 21 so now because navi 21 is said to be at least twice as fast as the navi 10 gpu the radeon rx 5700 xt is the best case for the navi 10 gpu and its graphics card comes close to the geforce rtx 2070 super based on that information navi 21 could exceed the rtx 20 80 super performance and even come close to the RTX 2080 Ti and this might explain why we are hearing rumors about an Nvidia RTX 2080 Ti super and so if Nvidia is planning on a super card of the RTX 2080 Ti perhaps we don't have to wait that long for Navi 21. Now I think it's important for AMD not waiting too long dropping the Navi 21 because as we know Nvidia is already at hard work on their RTX 3000 series as well. Anyway we know that clock speeds are important but nothing is said from the leaker and so unfortunately it makes it quite hard to know how fast this GPU will be and how hot it will run of course but yeah we can assume that because of its uh, huge die size it's going to be a power hungry beast. Navi 10 for example has a TDP of 225 watts and so assuming around 300 watts for this one wouldn't be completely unreasonable. Now stated on reddit this card will be using a GDDR6 memory and not HBM this time. Now WCCF Tech is reporting that this would mean that we are likely to get 384 to 512 bit memory interface which should either give us a 12 gigabyte or a 16 gigabytes of memory. Again WCCF Tech is reporting that AMD could also go one step ahead and offer 24 to even 32 gigabytes of GDDR6. 32 gigs of VRAM seems a bit extreme but 12 to even 16 gigabyte would be pretty sweet and considering the fact that next generation consoles are rumored to get around 12 gigabytes of VRAM which are set to release later this year picking up a graphics card with anything less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM might not be enough if you want to be able to max out your favorite game in 4k in a few years time now in terms of pricing as well as the release frame we still don't have the answers so Lisa Su has finally confirmed high-end Navi but we still aren't sure whether they're gonna use the Navi 21 or the Navi 20 GPU. As always I'm going to keep you guys informed on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Having more competition in the graphics card high-end space will definitely fix some of the ludicrous pricing of the RTX 2080 cards right now. Guys <laughs> I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Navi 21? Please let me know in the comments below.